Hello everyone, welcome to this specialist training educational presentation. And today I want to talk to you about identifying big moves before they happen. Now think of it, what if there were a tool or an indicator that could tell you with a high degree of certainty when a big move was about to take place either to the upside or to the downside? And we all remember what happened last month or a couple of months ago, right? Uh, in March, going into April, the market fell out of bed and then We've started to rally and slowly bounce back up. Now, the last couple of days, it looks as if we have some selling pressure. Is there a big move going to be happening to the downside? So what if there were a tool that could really increase your odds for consistency simply by identifying these high probability places right before a big move was supposed to happen? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And in today's presentation, I want you to just take a quick look at this first, this picture of the Dow. Remember, in March, we had a tremendously big move to the downside. We all remember what happened then. But at the end of March, starting in April, we started to rally. In fact, the Dow has rallied over 6,000 points in just the last two months. So with that said, did your current trading method generate signals like these last month? In other words, did it take advantage of the up move we've had for the past two months? For example, let's look at this chart right here. As you take a quick look at uh, ASGN, we see here that the stock had actually started to go up, but a buy signal was generated using this tool that would have given you 12 points in just about a week or so. Then after that, this tool generated a buy signal in PayPal, PYPL, on the 14th of April, which generated 35 points. And then still another stock, Amazon, we all know about Amazon, generated a buy signal in March, on the 6th of March, that would have generated 475 points. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, yeah, it's probably some indicator I have to put together and calculate something complicated, right? I have to have 10 or 20 things all line up and make sure that all the moving averages are crossing over and everything's perfectly lined up with the oscillators, right? And so it's kind of difficult. Actually, no, it's extremely simple because we've developed it, ProTrader Strategies and I, on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform, where everything is one click away. In fact, it automatically identifies these big moves in advance with just one click. So I'm extremely proud of developing this with ProTrader Strategies and excited to present this webinar today because I'm going to be sharing with you some recent and very current examples of how you could have taken advantage of this tool just this past month or so, some this past week. And we'll share with you a lot of these examples in today's presentation. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that's simply to educate traders around the world. That's really our only mission is just to educate you. And we do that by providing you with sound fundamental information and education that has stood the test of time. I've been trading for 43 years now. And in my 43 years, I've experimented and traded just about every technique and method you could think of. When I first started trading on the floor of the stock exchange, I you know, was struggling like most people. And I was lucky enough to learn these same things that I teach and I uh, give to my own students. So these are the things that really have high levels of consistency. So we've taken all the hard work out of it for you. There's no reason to search for that holy grail. There's no reason to spend those twenty and thirty thousand dollars and all the systems and methods. With trust me, we have students who tell me almost on a daily basis that they wish they would have found us first because they spent so many thousands of dollars, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars, searching for that holy system when it's really right in front of you. It's sound fundamental education. So that's really what we provide to educate you so that you can be in charge of your own trading. You'll see that today, and you'll see that with a lot of examples we share with you. Now, before we begin. As always, we first have to share this with you, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results and a lot of slides using this new tool, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So as you're taking a moment to view the disclaimer, as always, we want to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. Uh, I would suggest copying that down. I post different information on a daily basis. A lot of times I'll post signals that our strategies or methods have generated. I posted something very interesting on the spiders or on the, uh, that's the ETF that represents the S&P 500 yesterday. And I also post a little bits of financial wisdom, things I've accumulated along the way. So lots of great free education. So please feel free to follow us on Twitter. 
Now remember, as I've often stated, if you've come here thinking that today I'm gonna to tell you what the market is you should be trading or what my opinion is or what the market's gonna be doing in the next couple of weeks or what the perfect time frame is, you've come to the wrong webinar because that goes entirely against our philosophy. Our philosophy is simply to provide you with tools, techniques, and strategies that have stood the test of time so that ultimately you can use them and make your own trading decisions. That's really our goal. Our goal as educators is to teach you how to trade, not to trade for you. Now think of it, the entire industry is based on you going to a chat room or a trading room. It's based on you subscribing to blogs or letters or uh, you know sites to get information on what to buy or sell. It's based on you going to uh, you know turn it on the TV and listening to so, some so-called gurus telling you what to buy or sell on a nightly basis. And if you look at it, the overall picture is basically saying that you should make your own decisions. They should, or, you know, uh, someone in the chat room should make the decision for it. And this, in my opinion, is why most traders fail is because you're taking yourself out of the game. And the sad thing is you're doing it voluntarily. Once you put yourself back in the game, once you make your decisions and you can use whatever you want, but once you make your own decisions, that's where you start to become a consistent trader. So this is what, and this is the service of what we provide at Specialist Trading Approach Rated Strategies. We provide you with the education so that you can make those decisions for yourself. So as you can see, my goal is not to trade for you. It's simply to teach you how to trade with the Specialist Edge. This is the same edge that turned my trading around some four decades ago and what has sustained me now for 43 years. So my goal is to have it sustain you for the same amount of time, okay? Now we have a really great educational presentation today. I'm gonna to share with you a lot of slides, very current slides, but because we have a big crowd here and I don't wanna take all of your Wednesday, please, if you have a question, wait till the end, a little bit different from other webinars. I, I've attended webinars in the past and I know a lot of the uh, speakers like to stop for every question, but if we do that, we'll be here way too long. And I've, I've found out in uh, experience, past experience that many times your questions will be answered on the very next slide. So if you have a question, please wait till the end, okay? Uh, I promise I'll get to them at the very end of class. It won't be very long for now, about a half hour or so. The only question I do answer right now is the most common, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. Many of you have uh, some technical issues at times. Uh, it's most likely your internet connection. If you can't see or hear me clearly, don't worry. Uh, oftentimes, if you log off and log back on, the problem will be resolved. But not to worry, we will supply each and every one of you with a link to this recording as soon as the webinar is over. So uh, if, if you're having technical issues, you'll get a link to this, all right? All right, with that said, let's begin today's presentation. And what we're gonna be talking about is our new indicator. It's the PTS XT Extreme Trend Indicator. I'm really excited about this because I've actually been trading this for a while, but it was something basically I had to calculate on my own and what we've done is devised it into a proprietary tool where it really has one purpose. And the main purpose of the PTS XT is simply to announce in advance when a strong trend is just about to begin. It was designed just simply to do that, all right? It's not telling you exactly where to buy. It's not telling you exactly how high something will go and where to sell, but it's telling you with a great degree of certainty that most likely, you're gonna get a strong either uptrend or a strong downtrend. And think of it, isn't this really where you want to be in the markets? I, I heard someone uh, once, it was a long time ago, estimate that most of the markets, regardless of what they are, uh, on, on the average uh, as a whole, really trend only about, I would say about 20 to 30% of the time. The remainder of the time, 70 to 80% of the time, they're in a sideways rangy type of market. So what if there were a tool or something that could tell you when these trends were going to take place, these large extreme trends? Isn't that where you really want to be in? You want to be out when the market's kind of doing nothing and in a range or going sideways. This is where most traders get whipsawed. This is where you buy, and the minute you buy, it goes straight down, right? And the minute you sell, it goes right back up again. That's the market where most traders have difficulty with and they want to stay out of. But you want to stay in and get in right when they start are these nice, really massive, strong, extreme trends. That's what this tool was designed to do, okay? So the PTS XT indicator automatically identifies the following signal or automatically identified the following signals just this past month. So I wanna share with you what you could have taken, uh, you know, some signals with just this past month if you had the PTS XT, all right? These are some of the signals are 
own students have taken, and they told me about the nice trades they had. And these are also some of the things that I've noticed on my own. And so I just want to share with you what you could have taken advantage of just in the past month or so, okay, when the market had been rallying. So we will have a propensity to the upside in the beginning, but I'll also show you some down uh, situations as well. Now, a lot of students always say, Steve, you know, you always show these examples of these expensive stocks or, you know, roughly $70, $80 stocks, and uh, I don't have a big enough account size. So I'm going to start off by sharing with you some uh, inexpensive uh, price stocks just so for the uh, students that have smaller accounts, and then we'll work up into the, the students that have larger size accounts, okay, just to show you that it makes no difference uh, what price or uh, the extreme amount of movement is going to happen. It's all percentage-based, and you'll see with all these different examples. All right, let's start off with CGEN, C-G-E-N. It's an inexpensive stock, as you can see right here. It's uh, basically only a uh, $8 stock at the time. Now, it's been going up for the past week. Someone would say, well, yeah, you know, it's already gone up, but there's not really a lot of action here. I don't really have any idea what the earnings are going to be, and I'm not really interested in this company. Well, remember, this is why most traders fail is because they're focusing on the wrong things. All we care about is what the stock wants to do or what the currency pair wants to do or the future. We don't care what the outside information is saying because, once again, I've been trading for over four decades. That has shown no level of consistency in my experience. So why would I put my focus on that? Why not just focus on the chart in front of me? Now, using this proprietary trending tool, here's how simple the process is on our platform. Just simply click on the PTS Extreme Trend tab on the upper left up here, right? Once you click that on, it automatically will share with you whether a trend is about to take place. And the way it does that is by creating this little block or zone around the bar. It's highlighted yellow in this case. Now, you can change or alter the colors, blue, green, red, whatever you want. I like to make it yellow because that's telling me, giving me a warning, flashing kind of a yellow here. It's telling me that there's most likely a big move uh, just about to happen. All right, so that's a PTSXT extreme up signal. And as you can see, the stock went up. Look at how we just went up right after that, almost straight up. Now, I know it's seven points. Someone say, well, Steve, it's only seven points. It's not a big, big move. Remember, this was an $8 stock, okay? So it, that was an 85% price increase in just three weeks. I mean, think of it. If you were trading Facebook or Tesla, say Tesla went up 85% of its value in three weeks. Would that be a phenomenal move? Well, it's all relative here, okay? Let's look at another inexpensive price stock, LBTYA, okay? We're a little higher, but we're going to about $18 stock. This is where most traders have trouble. They'll look at this and say, well, we're in a range market. I tried buying right here, and the minute I bought, it went down. I sold, it went back up again, it went down. So I'm staying out of these. You know, I don't like to get involved in these range markets, and I've always been taught that's where you lose money, so I don't even trade those markets. Well, that's that's good advice, but a lot of times the markets will give you a little, a little advance notice as to it's going to be breaking out. So we don't have to wait for it to break out of the range or break down. All you have to do is click on the Extreme Trend tab, and the colors automatically change. And once again, there's a yellow block around this first bar. Now, I know a lot of students who have uh, already taken this course will say, Steve, does this uh, color uh, repaint itself. So in other words, one day it might be yellow and then the next day it's red. No, it will always be the same on the close of that particular bar. Now, let's say you're trading five minute bars, okay? Once that five minute bar closes, that's the color it will stay. So it's not going to repaint itself. Now, sure, it may in the course of the bar have a little block around it, but by the time the bar closes, that block will have disappeared because the parameters have not been met on the close. So it all depends on where the bar closes. If the parameters are met, then yes, there will be a, a colored block around that. And that will discern whether it's a uh, extreme up move or extreme down move. In this case, it's, it's flashing a PTS XT extreme up signal. So you could have decided if you wanted to purchase this, but that would have been a good idea. Look what happened. To see how this gives you advanced warning that extreme up move is about to take place. Now, this was six points. A lot of traders would say, that's not a lot, Steve, but remember, that was a 30% price increase in two weeks, 30%, all right? It's all relative. Let's go uh, a little higher price stocks, all right? We're trading about $18. Let's move up to about $40 now. Here's a very perfect example of how a lot of traders trade, myself included. When I first started trading, I couldn't do this. It was too difficult for me until I finally realized that it really doesn't matter. 
Because at this point, you see that the stock has basically been going straight up. And most traders are very fearful of entering a stock that's already gone up too much. They'll say to themselves, well, Steve, it's tremendously overbought. All the indicators are overbought. That chat room I go to says you have to sell it, take your profit and get out. It shouldn't be going any higher. Uh, that other blog I subscribe to says that uh, all the indices uh, you know, are telling you that it's a, a sell signal. And then lastly, that uh, $10,000 course I took on the institutions are all saying they're selling right here. So this is where I got to get out, right? Did you see all my justification were based on outside sources? These are all the things that I was taught to listen to. And these are all the things that basically don't work. <laughs> all right. So why should you listen to those things? Why not just listen to the market? All of our tools, all of our methods are based on just simply translating what the market wants to do not translating what the institutions are doing, not translating what the earnings are going to be, not translating what the volume or what the support and resistance levels are. Those things have shown no levels of consistency in my four decades of trading. I only focus on proprietary tools that listen to what the market wants to do and then just simply lets us jump on board. So where everyone else would think that this was overbought, all you have to do as a member of the course is click on the tab and see if a block is around a certain bar. And as you can see, yes, it was flashing an extreme up signal on that day. This was on the 28th of April. So someone would say, well, gosh, I guess it isn't overbought. This is a high probability buy setup and the stock went up 12 points in the next week, okay? Let's take the price up a little bit more. From a $40 stock, let's go to $120 stock. This is a PYPL, PayPal, I believe, okay? All right, someone would say, well, how can you tell what this is going to do just off five bars? It's simple. The, the proprietary requirements don't need that much taken into account, and they do all the hard work for you. All your job is to simply click on the tab in the PTS Primo charting platform, and as you can see, there's a block painted around that bar. This was on the 14th of April, okay, just about a month ago. Now, it was telling you that most likely, not guaranteed because we know nothing is guaranteed in the markets, but there's a high probability that you're going to have an extreme upward move in this stock. So you have to make a decision. Do you want to trade it? Do you want to buy calls? Do you want to? It's up to you. Remember, we're just pinpointing things for you, highlighting high probability areas. It's up to you to decide how you want to trade it. But that would have been a good decision because the stock went up 35 points coming into last week. Okay. Now, how did we know this was going to go straight up? And how did we know this thing was going to gap up like this just last week? Well, we didn't. The market told us through the requirements that most likely there was going to be an extreme up move happening. Let's look at another example and beyond, BYND, okay? This was just last week. On the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, there was a yellow block painted around this bar. Now, someone would say, well, gosh, Steve, this is a doji. I'm a candlestick trader, and that's telling me that most likely we're going to have a reverse a reversal. Okay? That's a reversal pattern. Remember, we have nothing against candlesticks. We incorporate candlesticks in some of our methods. But in this case, the extreme trend tool, uh, it, it out, uh, you know, numbers just simply looking at a bar pattern because there are a lot of requirements that are being met in their relationship to one another. And they're saying that this is just a pause before we go higher. Now, this was on the 5th of May. And then the next three days, the stock went up 35 points, okay? Pretty simple, right? There's no reason to say, well, gosh, Steve, uh, you know, I didn't know what the earnings were going to be, or gosh, Steve, I, I, you know, there's a lot of economic news coming out. I, I, uh, did I have to follow that as well? Or, or gosh, Steve, uh, do we need to know what the institutions are doing? Why overcomplicate your trading? You know, you can just simply, for the first time, Take that load off your shoulders. You don't have to listen to that or concern yourself with that anymore. Trying to figure out what all these other things, these institutions or earnings are going to be. Trading is so simple once you let go of that. It's like carrying this huge bag up a hill. And this huge, you know, uh, uh, bag uh, on your shoulders and you're thinking, gosh, why am I carrying this? The minute you let it go, it's so much simpler. It's the same way with letting go of all these things that you're carrying, like uh, th this conventional wisdom that we've been taught that it's supposed to work, but it really doesn't. Learn to listen to the market, and that's where you'll become consistent. Now, here's an example in the QQQs. This was also on May 5th, okay? Now, a lot of our students who are already are members like to use this as a market directional tool, meaning that they don't necessarily have to buy or sell the QQQs depending on the signal. What they do is just use it to determine what direction the market may be going. 
Now, even though there's not a signal generated every day, when you do get a signal, that's a high probability, uh, you know, uh, a point there that the market most likely will follow suit. So on the 5th, you got a nice buy setup, an extreme up signal with the PTSXT tool. So that was basically telling you the market was going to go up and the QQQs went up nine points in the next week. Now, sure, nine points isn't a lot, but that transferred over onto 600 Dow Jones points. So if you were you know, thinking of maybe buying uh, calls or maybe you're thinking of buying another stock that mirrored the S&P or mirrored the QQQs, that was a wise decision to use this as a market directional tool. Let's look at uh, PDD, okay? Now, once again, this was just last week on the 6th of May, all right? We have, it looked like the stock was going up. In fact, it closed lower. So a lot of people say, well, that's a reversal. We opened up and then closed lower. Looks like we're making a top here, but the tool generated a buy setup. So all you had to do was take that into consideration, 12 points in one week. That was just coming into yesterday, okay? All right, let's take the price up a little bit more. Let's go into the $200 range. We're looking at Apple. All right, this was in mid to end of April, just about a month ago. As we can see, it didn't look like much was happening. In fact, uh, Apple had really fallen out of bed the last couple of days, had some nice down days. But all of a sudden, the PTSXT tool generated an extreme up signal. All right, so at this point, you say to yourself, wow, okay, well, I guess we're going higher. And that was a wise decision. The stock went up 35 points coming into last week. If we look at Tesla, all right, we're getting expensive stocks now. We look at Tesla on the 13th of April or a month ago today, we see that the market had been going straight up and had a huge up bar. Here's where most students would say, well, gosh, Steve, I can't buy calls or I can't even buy an odd lot, one or two shares. It's had a tremendous run. Why would I want to buy now? Well, you don't have to once again, but you were getting a signal from the PTSXT to buy because the stock went up 220 points coming into uh, May. Now, we look at SHOP here. There's another high priced stock, a $400 stock. This was in mid-April, a month ago. Once again, a PTSXT extreme up signal was generated. You get the yellow block at the close of the day. You get the yellow block right around the stock. The stock went up 290 points coming into last week, okay? To see how this can really help your trading, how you don't have to be involved in the market when it's going sideways or not doing anything. You get an early warning when it's going to head in a specific direction, and that's where you want to jump on board. Now, here's one way to trade it. You don't have to buy the minute you see that first block around the, uh, the stock bar or whatever, or if you get a, a, a red block around a sell bar. You can wait and apply any strategy or any method to that. So in other words, if you're too gun shy to buy in that first bar, you could have waited and said, well, you know, I'll buy somewhere around here on this little pullback right here. This fits my strategy on this doji. All right, I'll buy here. And you could have taken advantage of that. As long as if you're in this zone here, this yellow block, you have a high probability for success using any method, any technique that is in sync with that direction. OK, you don't want to go short when you're in an up block and you don't want to go long when you're in a down block. Now, lastly, let's look at Amazon. OK, we're going all the way back to the beginning of April. So this is about a month and a half ago. OK, now we had a big, strong update right here. And we realize it's expensive stock, but there are traders who like to buy one or two shares. Now, all you had to do on a daily basis, if you have a basket of stocks you like to trade, you could just simply go through them, click on the indicator. And on the 6th of April, you would have seen that the tool generated an extreme up signal. OK, could have bought one or two shares, could have bought out of the money calls, it's up to you. But look what happened after that, 475 points coming into May, okay? Now sure, after that, there was a lot of news about what's going on with the pandemic and how Amazon's business is, is skyrocketing. Well, the funny thing is, this tool does not take any fundamental news into account to generate its signals, okay? It was well before the game of all of that coming into play. So this is, uh, you know, uh, why we say listen only to the market. When you listen to news, when you listen to things that are coming out on TV or so, it's usually too late. What you want to do is get a heads up. You want to get a warning in advance. And that specifically is what this tool was designed for. 
Now, let's look at some other markets and some other time frames and some other directions, because up until now, we have basically focused on just looking at stocks that were heading upwards because the market's gone up, as we said, 6,000 points in the last couple of months, month and a half. OK, let's look at some downward moves that happened earlier when the market was tanking. Let's also look at some different markets. Let's look at some different time frames because I want you to know that it just ha doesn't apply to stocks only. This can be applied to anything. I like to use this intraday trading of the E-minis. OK, so let's look at uh, Shaq. OK, this is a, 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 a example of what happened in February. This was at the end of February the, before the markets fell out of bed in March and beginning of April. All right, we had a strong downward move here. These were most Traders at this point, before they knew the market was really going to head lower, would have said, well, Steve, this is a buying opportunity because for the last three, four years, every time we have a move like this, it'll bounce right back up and make higher highs, right? That was what, what was happening. But with the help of the PTSXT, all you have to do is click that on and you would have seen whether you should be buying or not. Now, if the bar remained blank the way it is right now, I said, well, sure, you may have a high probability it is going to bounce. But once we applied the tool, what did we see? We had a block around it. It's not yellow. It's colored reddish orange. And remember, you can edit these to any color you want. But I like to, to have them these colors because they match in with other things that I apply. And it really uh, was a really advanced warning not to be buying. There wasn't going to be a, a nice bounce that actually you should be selling this. And as we know, what happened after this extreme downtrend signal, well, the market fell out of bed. And look at how this went straight down. 32 points that you potentially could have captured. Now, here's the beauty of this. Once it got out of the zone, once it got out of the orange, reddish, orange block, that's where you want to avoid trading because most likely we're going to go into a series of sideways markets. And I think after that, it went up even higher, but most likely it, it generated a buy block. But I'm just focusing on a downward situations now because the same thing applies whether you're going up or down. Let's look at this right here, okay? Norwegian Cruise Line. Been a lot of talk about going bankrupt. Uh, the, the cruise line industry is just terrible. Uh, people don't want to congregate all closed in together, so no one's wanting to take these cruises. As we can see, obviously, the price of this stock fell out of bed from the beginning of February all the way until the end of March, okay? How could we have had an early warning that this was going to happen? And we don't want to sit there while it's going sideways. We want to know when it's falling out of bed. Well, we apply the tool and look at we had an early warning right here in the first week of February, well before this news came out about the pandemic or anything, well before the public was really aware. This was the first week in February. It was flashing an extreme downtrend signal, okay? So potentially, you could have captured 45 points, where a lot of traders were saying, well, Steve, this is a buy situation. It's just going to bounce, and uh, this is, uh, the industry is fine. Well, we don't take that into account. You can if you want to, but none of this is uh, based off of fundamental news. It just is based off what the stock or the future or the currency pair is telling us. All right, here's another example. U.S. oil, that's an oil fund. That's the, the ETF that, uh, that looks at oil, okay? Once again, everyone knows that oil has fallen out of bed and everyone loves to play the victim game saying, gosh, you know, who knew oil was going to go down like that? Or who knew oil was really going to fall out of bed? It's been going down for a while. I thought a bounce was going to take place. Well, if you look at fundamental things, if you look at economic news, it doesn't make any sense, right? It shouldn't have gone down this low. But we don't look at that. We only listen to what the price is telling us. And this was, once again, in mid to end of February, USO, USO the oil fund, generated an extreme downtrend signal. The block was... Uh, uh, circling around this one bar on, I believe, the 24th of February. So that would have been your signal to sell if you wanted to, or to, to at least say that oil is going lower. And look what happened. 50 points. And then as we got to this point, this is where you stay out of the market. A lot of traders would say, well, wow, we're out of the block, so we should just buy, right? Well, look what happened. It went right back down. This is the whipsaw area you don't want to be involved in. Another PTS XT extreme down signal was generated here in the middle of April and another 20 points you could have captured. OK, so we're staying out of these sideways and we only want to get involved in these extreme moves. Here's a weekly chart of BABA, B-A-B-A. -B -A, all right. The same process applies. As we see here, we got a, an uptrend set signal here. We went straight up 30 points. Potentially, you could have captured on a weekly time frame. At this point, you want to avoid trading. This is where you're in the chop, and it's really not really telling you any clear direction.
But once again, in February 2017, remember these are weekly charts, look at this nice extreme uptrend. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at a daily bar or if you're looking at a weekly bar, if you're looking at a monthly bar, it will still generate these setups. You just have to wait for the bar to close, that's all. So if you're looking at a weekly bar, within that span of that week, it may go yellow, then it may go red, but once the bar closes, that is the signal, okay? So a lot of times it'll be, uh, you know, flashing, let's say, yellow for the entire time. And then by the time the bar closes, the parameters change and it's back to neutral. Let's look at our four hour chart of the Australian dollar. This is a very current chart. Uh, this was just the last week of April, just a couple of weeks ago. On a four hour time frame, a PTSXT extreme up signal was generated on the 23rd of April, last week in April. Potentially, you could have captured 200 pips. And then look at the beauty of this. Once the requirements were not met anymore, it uh, ceases to generate this block. So all of a sudden, the very next bar, there's no block around it, meaning that all bets are off for the trend to remain to the upside. So you could have used that as an exit signal, or if you were already out, you know, you know not to get back in. So this is the area you want to avoid trading. So this is the beauty of this tool. It not only tells you when you should be trading, but it also tells you when you should not. Now here's an example of commodities, okay? Commodities have these really strong trends once they get going and it makes no difference if we're trading coffee. Here's an example of coffee on the upside. Here was an up signal that was generated. You could have captured 26 points. Once we go into this chop area, you're avoiding trading. There is no block being generated. And then a block is being generated right here in January to the downside for 21 points. This represented thousands of dollars you could have captured just simply trading coffee on a daily time frame. Here's a 10 minute chart of the E-mini futures. I believe this was a signal that I took. As I said, I like to trade E-mini futures. Here's a 10 minute chart. As you can see on this, this was just May 6th, okay? On a 10 minute time frame, a down signal was generated. Coming into that, we were in the chop. And then after that, look what happened. 25 points of the downside. Once again, after it concluded, you're out of the zone and it stops generating this block anymore, telling you that uh, all bets are off for an extreme downward signal. So this is where you wanna avoid trading and you only wanna be in this here. Now, once again, you could have sold on this first bar or you could have looked for some strategy that generated a signal. It's up to you, but this is the area you should be trading to the downside. Okay, let's look at Bitcoin, all right? I know that there's a lot of interest in Bitcoin because it looks like it's starting to go up again. Well, that's funny because in April, uh, middle of April, guess what? All you had to do was click on the extreme trend on our platform and a buy signal was generated on the 23rd, all right? Look at the nice up move you've gotten in Bitcoin. This was coming into the 8th of May. So this is what we mean when we say this tool is so, uh, you know, uh, versatile because you can transfer it over in any market, any time frame. I just showed you a 10 minute chart of the E-mini futures. I showed you a four hour chart of the currency pairs, the Australian dollar and weekly charts of stocks. So it makes no difference. Wherever these parameters are all met, and the requirements are met, it will generate these high probability setups. Okay, so let's recap. What are the advantages of trading with the PTS Extreme trend? Well, it identifies these high probability zones. These are the zones you want to be in. You want to be trading when the market has a really strong current behind it, just as if you're going and you're canoeing down a river. You don't want to be canoeing when the river basically has no momentum and it's just kind of sitting there like a pond. You want to be in a river that has some nice current behind it so that you can really get from point A to point B. Now it also, in these zones, it also tells you when to keep out of these choppy whipsaw markets because when a block is not being generated by a color, well then you're in the neutral zone and you really don't wanna be trading. So for all intents and purposes, you should only be trading when you see these blocks appear. Now, if you're trading in the high uh, you know, intensity zones and you're out of the kind of chop and whipsaw market, you automatically increase your odds for consistency because you're trading in these extreme zones that have very strong trend. Now also in these zones, they pinpoint that low hanging fruit area. This is where you really have those nice trades. Have you ever been in a trade and it just works from the minute you get in and the minute you get out, you go, gosh, that was so easy. That was just, the minute I bought it, it went up and it went right to my exit point. I got out and it was just so simple and so easy. Or 
conversely, the same way to the downside, right? Most likely, you were trading in the PTSXT zone. You just didn't know it. That's where you want to be trading. That's where you have these low-hanging fruit trades. Now, on top of this, it provides multiple trading opportunities. I'll speak about this in just a few moments here because I'm going to be giving a special class about this. Now, it identifies market sectors to avoid as well. Think of it. You can apply this tool to ETFs or to different sectors. And if that sector is producing either a, a downward, uh, you know, extreme zone signal or it's in the uh, neutral zone, maybe you want to avoid that. That's not the type of market or sector you want to be in. But let's say the sector, uh, semiconductors or anything, real estate, all of a sudden generated its first up, extreme upward moving signal. Well, that's the sector you want to be in. So th this can be a market directional tool based off of the sectors to trade and the ones to avoid. But lastly, and most importantly, is that it keeps you out of these traffic jams or the congestion. Remember, as I stated earlier, it's been estimated that most trendy markets only happen about 20 to 30 percent of the time. That 70 to 80 percent of the time is really just a traffic jam. It's congestion. It's really where nothing is happening and where you don't want to be trading. This helps you and eliminates these areas so that you don't have to be, you know, stuck in trading traffic. Okay, so what is this tool based on? Well, the PTSXT is based on multiple proprietary indicators and their relationship to one another. Now, before I designed this tool at ProTrader Strategies, I have been trading this for years, but I was actually, you know, uh, doing it by myself and calculating it. And uh, when once I got together with ProTrader Strategies, we developed it, we uh, put it into a proprietary tool with programmers, and and, and the way you, we visualized it was just simply by having a block around these zones, these high probability zones. So this makes it so much simpler. And I know a lot of you will say, well, Steve, how come we can't know the rules? Isn't that the secret to it? Well, actually, the secret to it is knowing how to trade it. That's really the secret to this tool. Not in whether you know what the tool, the proprietary uh, indicators are that all come into play. That's really not what matters. What really matters is knowing how to apply it to your own trading. Now, a lot of traders will say, well, how is the PTSXT different from other specialist trading trending tools? Because we know that you focus a lot on trending. So let's look at some of our most prominent trending tools at specialist trading. The first one being the buy sell line. OK, you've heard me talk about it before. It's a great tool. I've often said it. I wouldn't trade without it. But remember, the buy sell line, it's specifically designed to determine the overall trend. OK, there's nothing wrong with the overall trend, but the overall trend oftentimes is like a huge ocean liner. All right? Many times it just doesn't turn on a dime. You have to wait weeks, months for that trend to turn around. Here's a weekly chart of when. Once we apply the fluid by sell line, it makes it easier to determine where these overall trends are, all right? The blue zone is the overall uptrend. The red zone is the overall downtrend. But having said that, there are numerous spots in this where you basically are still going sideways for not only weeks, but months prior. Even though you're in the buy overall buy area, you're really not doing anything. You're trading water, such as right there and even right here when you were going sideways for months, okay? Now, our second trending tool is the Pet D, another fantastic tool, one of our most popular short-term trend identifiers. But the Pet D has the same problem as well because it's extremely sensitive. In fact, the name stands for the Early Trend Detector. So what it will do is it's so sensitive, it will oftentimes determine a trend before the move takes place. So as you can see here in this chart of AEE, the stock basically went sideways for four weeks, but the color bar tool being green was generated, generating a short-term uptrend. So you could be stuck in this sideways market for four weeks waiting for something to happen. And then ultimately it did. It was right in determining that you were in an uptrend. But you see the difference is the PTS XT only gets you involved in this move right here. It keeps you out of this, okay? It's the same way to the downside. As you look at UPS, the uh, Pet D is very sensitive. And right here, even though all the bars were red telling you that you were in a short-term downtrend, we went sideways for three weeks. Ultimately, it did kick in. The difference is the PTS XT would only get you in right here. So you don't have to sit through days, weeks, sometimes even months of sideways action. Now, let me show you one more PTSXT example that exemplifies everything I just went over. This just happened in this past month. This was in QDEL. QDEL. 
Once again, it looks like we're in this choppy area. We click on the PTSXT Extreme tab, and right here, we had a yellow block telling us that most likely on the 14th of April, about a month ago, there was an extreme up signal. Okay, had you taken that or waited, either way, you would have had a nice trade because look at the stock went up 115 points in one month. Uh, as you can see, we didn't have to wait through this sideways move. We got right in a day or so before it took off. So this is what we're uh, trying to define here with the PTSXT. We don't want to wait around. We don't want to be caught in that line waiting for things to happen. And then eventually they do because we know that if we wait too long, most of the time we'll get out. We'll say, listen, I've tied up my money. I'm going to move on to something that's moving. And the minute we get out, that's usually when it starts moving, right? But we don't want to be involved in that line. We want to go right to the top, the front of the line and start trading. The way we do that is by applying this on our PTS Primo charting platform because it automatically identifies these extreme trends in advance. Everything is one click away. Remember, waiting in line for a favorable market is what really discourages a lot of traders. You'll sit there and wait and wait and have your money tied up and nothing happens. That's where you usually lose money because you get frustrated. You'll start to overtrade. You'll start to get out of a position. You'll start to bet against yourself and then you ultimately turn it, uh, you know, something that was just sitting there into a loss. What if you didn't have to wait? What if you went right up to the express lane and you went right up to getting your cash? That's the way the PTSXT works. You don't have to wait. Even though it's not guaranteed, you have a high level of probability that you're going to have a big move coming up once a bar is colored in that block. Now, let me ask you a question. Why wait any longer for success? I know most likely if you've come to this presentation, you've been waiting for a time to be successful. You owe it to yourself to become a consistent trader. You've put in far too much time, too much hard work, too much studying, and also too much money to just basically be treading water or not getting the type of results you want. We have a great offer for you today so that you can kick your trading up to the next gear, all right? We're gonna offer you our PTS XT Extreme Trend. This is the, uh, the uh, tool that uh, gets you in the express lane, okay? It generates the high probability zones. You can apply it to any market, any time frame. You can trade with your current strategy. Once you find what zone you're in, you'll have a higher level of, uh, of, of consistency and probability if you're trading while you're in that zone, okay? You can build your own strategy based on what we give you, okay? And, and also it'll give you the confidence for the first time to pull that trigger because you know you have a nice current at your back. Now, on top of that, remember, everything is one click away on our platform, the PTS Primo Charting platform. So we're also gonna throw in 12 months free of the platform. So you don't have to worry about, you know, having this on another platform and saying, well, gosh, I have to look for the indicator, then I have to find out where to click it on. And then by that time, it's too late. It's taken me too long of a time. Everything is one click access on our platform. It's pre-formatted and you can just simply find out in a matter of minutes whether you have a extreme buy up signal or extreme buy down signal. So let's tell you what you get here. You're going to get one click access, the enhanced buy sell line for the overall trend. You also get our strength of trend tool. I developed this with pro trader strategies that oftentimes will tell you when a trend is about to end. This will help you tremendously with the PTSXD. Over 90 of the most prom pro uh, uh, pro prominent technical indicators. Auto generated exit levels, just one of our different exit levels for trading with this. But here's the most important thing you're going to get the signal scan. So on a nightly basis, you can basically scan through, you know, dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of stocks, currency pairs, futures, different uh, European exchanges, uh, the Asian markets, Canadian markets for signals, even the cryptocurrencies, futures, uh, for any signals using the PTXT. Now, let me show you something that you could have scanned for just a couple of months ago. Remember what happened in March, okay? We all know that the market fell out of bed and a lot of traders really lost a lot of money or were caught totally off guard. They were buying the entire way down. In fact, on March the 16th, the Dow recorded uh, a drop of nearly 3,000 points. That was the biggest drop since 1987. And I should know that because I was trading on the floor during the crash of 1987. So it was a tremendous, tremendous down move. If we look at the chart of the spiders, the ETF that represents the S&P 500, we see here that this is when that happened. This is the down 3,000 day move, okay? But as we notice, we were already in the PTS extreme, extreme down zone. And if you look at the first bar, 
This was a fall three weeks ahead of that extremely downward uh, day, 3,000 points. On the 25th of uh, February, this tool gave you a warning that you were going to be an extreme downward move. Don't you think you would have loved to have had this a couple of months ago? Because the Dow Jones plunged nearly 9,000 points in the following month. Don't you think this tool could have helped you? Even when the market bounced right here for this one week, closing up, closing up another day, down, then back up, we were still in the zone, uh, the extreme downtrending uh, zone. So this is a fantastic tool to have. You could have had this two months ago, and it could have saved you a lot of heartache if you were one of the traders that was buying the entire way down. So let's tell you about what you get for this, what the offer is, and how we're really going to take your trading to the next level. All right. Our early pre-launch special price is $49.95. We're going to not charge you that. We're going to discount that by 10%, and the price is $44.95. But we're also throwing in, once again, 12 months, a full year of the platform. But we're not going to stop there. We also are going to give you payment plans. So if you can't come up with $44.95, don't worry. We can schedule a payment plan. So for a small deposit, Pro Trader Strategies will have you up and running as early as today. Okay? All you have to do is put down a small deposit. You negotiate with them, and you'll have a payment plan, a monthly payment plan. You can still be trading with the PTSXT tool. Now, one more bonus that we just decided to have. This coming Saturday, I will be giving a trading class to all the members of the PTSXT trending tool. This will be a private class just for members who have decided to uh, become uh, members of the class. I'm going to be talking about advanced entries. I'm going to be talking about advanced exits and also stop placement. I know a lot of you probably looked at these examples and say, gosh, Steve, this is great, but, you know, I don't have a strategy I feel comfortable with. Where would I enter? Where would do I just buy at the market? Where do I sell? You know, would I get out the first profit, maybe stay in longer? I'm going to go into detail and share with you how I like to use it in my own personal trading and show you different ways in which to enter, different ways in which to exit, and different ways in which to place your stop. All uh, education so that you can decide for yourself how to best apply the PTSXT. This is a special class we're giving this Saturday. Look for more information once you become a member, and I'll go into detail on how I like to use the PTSXT with my own personal trading, okay? So take advantage of this. You owe it to yourself to take your trading to the next level. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. I would call them personally at 310-598-6677. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now. They would be more than happy to establish a payment plan with you or just for more uh, questions concerning tech support or what's offered on the platform or, uh, you know, different ways in which to apply the tool. They, they, they have qualified people there and they're not trying to sell you anything. They would be more than happy just to answer your questions concerning that. OK, now the, the link you see at the very bottom is something you have to copy and paste and place on your browser. But if you look in the chat box, we've just posted a live link in the chat box. All you have to do is click that on. It will automatically open up a page for you. And that's the information page. You'll get more information. On top of that, uh, you'll be able to sign up online if you like to, okay? I promised the last 15 or so minutes for questions. So if you have any questions, now is the time to go to your question and answer uh, box and just type in whatever uh, you're interested in, okay? All right, first question. What time frames should you be trading? Well, once again, remember, that goes against our philosophy. If you were here at the beginning of the presentation, we don't tell you what time frame. If you come here thinking, I'm going to tell you what time frame to trade, or I'm going to tell you what market uh, to trade, or what I think the market's going to do, you've come to the wrong place because our philosophy is never to tell traders how to trade. Our philosophy is to teach you high probability tools, strategies, and methods that have stood the test of time so that you can decide how you want to trade. You see, I've been trading long enough to know that you should never copy or mimic someone else. You should never, in my opinion, go to a chat room or a trading room and see what everyone else is doing and then try and follow suit. That's a recipe for disaster. 85% of all traders fail, and I think this is one of the reasons why. It's because you're taking yourself out of the game. When you ask someone, what time frame should I use? When you ask someone, what market should I trade? You're basically saying, I don't know what to do. Why don't you tell me what to do? And that's why traders fail. So what we suggest is to take the course. You're going to be amazed at how well it works. And then research, paper trade, just experiment with a bunch of different time frames on your own because everyone's different. I have intraday traders who say, you know what, this works the best on five-minute time frames. I would, you know, swear by it. I have other traders who say, no, it works amazing on weekly bars. That's the way to trade this. Now, 
not one is not better than the other. What matters is that you're trading according to your own means. So a weekly time frame may work for someone. Five minute time frame may work for someone else. There's no one right answer in trading. OK. Um, what are the main variables that the tool considers? Well, I'm sorry, Victor, we can't uh, tell you that because it's a proprietary tool that looks at a, a number of indicators and how they all uh, relate to each other, to one another. That's what generates the setups. Uh, once again, it's proprietary, but really you shouldn't be focusing on that. You should be focusing on how to apply it to your own trading. And that's what I'm gonna be doing Saturday. I'll go into detail and show you exactly these advanced entries, exits, and stop placements so that you can determine on how to trade it. That's the real secret because it wouldn't even matter. Let's say I divulged and told everyone all the parameters that generated these setups. If you didn't know how to trade it, you most likely would still lose money. So what, what good would it be if you knew what it was based off? But what really matters is knowing and how to apply it, okay? Um, is there a trial period for this? I, you know what, I don't believe there is. I think that, that uh, pro trader strategies would probably better uh, answer that question. But to my knowledge, we really don't have trials because you get all the information and you're gonna get all the ways in which to trade it in the course, okay? Um, what is a five minute bar? Okay, that's a good question. A five minute bar simply, it takes uh, every five minutes. In other words, let's say the market, I, I'm on the West Coast, from 6.30, it opens up at 6.30, from 6.30 to 6.35 is one bar, okay? So that generates one bar. At, at the close of that five minute bar, it makes another bar. And so the high and low of that next five minutes. So you'll have a number of different five minute bars throughout the day. You can also have 60 minute bars, what you usually see are daily bars, okay? Uh, those are the, the, the most uh, basic type, type of way of trading. Um, you said hundreds of stocks during the presentation. Didn't you mean thousands of stocks? Oh yes, but I'm just, you know, obviously I don't think most people would like to look through a thousand stocks tonight, but we scan through them. And, and scanning through thousands of stocks, you'll most likely come up with a hundred different uh, setups, okay? That's what I meant. Uh, I, if you're scanning through a thousand different stocks, most likely you're gonna get 10% of those will generate setups. Um, what is the annual cost after the first year? Well, there is no annual cost for, if you uh, outright purchase the uh, indicator, the outright cost uh, is already taken in, in, into play. So you're not gonna be paying for that twice. Now, obviously if you have a payment plan, that has to be structured with pro trader strategies, uh, depending on how long that goes out. But if you're asking about the cost of the platform, I believe the, the basic uh, format for the platform is $97 a month, which is tremendously inexpensive. Other platforms I've used in the past have cost me sometimes $500 a month. So it's still it, tr tremendously inexpensive and you can apply uh, all the things we talked about. Uh, what do you need to know where to enter or exit when the tool more or less helps show those points to you? Well, remember Patrick, the, sh the tool doesn't share with you where to exit and the tool doesn't tell where to place your stop. Because once again, nothing works 100% of the time. So let's say uh, it, it outlined the bar. If you bought on the close of that day on a buy signal, and let's say some terrible uh, event happened and the market gap it down or went down the next day, well, do you just ha hang on to it? I mean, do you hold on to the position? Uh, how long do you hold on? Where's your stop supposed to be? Uh, or you know, what if it went up a couple of days and then went the wrong direction? Do you have a stop in place? Would you have exited? These are all things to take into consideration. The tool doesn't tell you where to exit, and it also doesn't predict how high or how low something will go. So you have to know in advance or have an idea of where you want to exit and where you want uh, to protect yourself. This is what I'm going to be teaching on Saturday. Uh, let's see. Um, can you demo Bitcoin's recent action live? Any guarantee with this tool? There's no guarantees with, with this tool or any tool. As I said numerous times, uh, nothing is guaranteed in the stock market or life for that matter, but nothing is guaranteed. This is just very high probability. OK, uh, in terms of uh, uh, can we Bitcoin live action? If you're talking about live action in the Bitcoin right now, no, because uh, this is a static presentation. It's on PowerPoint and I don't have live charts capability right now. OK. Uh, yes, it can. Someone's asking if it's web-based, can it run on a Mac? It can with a few alterations, okay? That's something you'd have to ask ProTrader Strategies. The way we're set up is that ProTrader Strategies handles all the tech support, all of the pricing and all the developing of the tools. Uh, I'm in charge of all teaching and trading of the methods. So anything determined with tech support or Mac-based or, or uh, you know, uh, web-based, 
contact pro trader strategies remember they're manning the phones right now they would be more to ha than happy to answer your questions with no obligation so don't be afraid that you're going to be sold anything i've had so many students tell me that you know i sat on the fence for a while but i was never pressured into anything i made my own decision that's great because we're just simply here to teach you uh is there a way to back test stocks using the pts no there isn't because once again i stated also in the in the today's presentation that no two traders should ever trade alike that's why we don't have chat rooms that's why we don't have uh you know blogs and uh that's why i never say what i'm doing or what i think the market's doing because i really don't know i'm just following whatever signals i see and setups i see and i just jump on board the market tells me what it wants to do so everyone has a different uh you know risk parameter some traders like to trade aggressively some try to trade uh, conservatively so having said that that means a conservative trader is not going to have a large amount of risk associated with the setup, where an aggressive trader may say, you know what, I don't mind the risk. I'll stay in much longer. I don't mind that. So that means that no two traders are ever going to trade alike. Therefore, you can't come up with any type of uh, back test because uh, you couldn't have the availability. Now, if you want to do your own back test based on your own parameters, I believe there is a way to do that on the platform. We have a special uh, study where you are able to do that. And uh, I, once again, would refer that to Pro Trader Strategies. If you just want to back test the way you trade or a style that you're thinking of trading, uh, yes, I believe there is a capability, but uh, I would first check with Pro Trader Strategies. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thanks for fueling the question. Oh, you're more than you're more than happy. I mean, that's what we want to do. Uh, people are asking why we don't use live charts. The reason is because this is an educational company. And so many times when you show a live chart, people use that as a crutch and say, oh, OK, uh, the trade worked out. This must be phenomenal. It went up 20 points. And so I'm going to buy it or a trade may not work out. And you'll say, oh, this doesn't work. I'm going to sell it. What we're trying to do is educate you uh, how to use this and how it works. And in an educational class, you don't need live charts. You need to teach the premise. And so that's as an educational company, which we mentioned at the very beginning, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach you a high probability way to apply this tool. So with that concept, there's no reason to use live charts. Just the way you're trying to teach someone uh, how to, how to uh, uh, have a math calculation or how to do something in class, you don't need to have it live happen in real time. You can just show the concept on the blackboard, and that's what we do in our classes. Okay, good questions. Now remember, along with this comes, which I did mention as well, once you become a student of mine, you can also get my personal email address. So anytime you have a question or just about anything you'd like me to look over a chart, you can email me and I'll answer as soon as possible, okay? Um, once again, people are asking about statistics. If we had statistics, that would mean that everyone has to trade this the same way. If everyone trades something the same way, that goes entirely against our philosophy. I've stated numerous times today, you should never trade like another trader. You should never piggyback and do what anyone else says. That's why we don't have uh, trading rooms, that's why we don't have chat rooms. We don't believe in that. The only way one becomes consistent is by making your own decisions. If you make your own decisions, you're not going to enter or exit at the same place someone else did based on the same signal. So therefore, there's no uh, statistics because everyone is encouraged to trade differently. When, you're, when you have multiple ways to trade it, which I'll be going over on Saturday, there's absolutely no way to have statistics. And we don't believe in statistics, trust me. I've taught and traded systems before where everyone trades the same way. They went back 20 years of statistics with phenomenal numbers. And in 2008, everything went out the window and all of those systems blew up. What happened to the back testing? What happened to the statistics? Well, it's funny because they all worked great on paper, but when the real world was applied, they didn't work. So, you know, take statistics with a grain of salt. Uh, you know, once the market changes environment, if your system doesn't change with it, most likely it's going to blow up. I take this from personal experience. So that's why we encourage you to use your own temperament to use your own risk parameters, because that's how you become consistent, not by relying on statistics, not by relying on what someone else is doing, okay? I hope that answers your questions. Remember, this Saturday, I will be showing you how I like to apply it. You can decide for yourself if you wanna use these different variables, but I, as I've often stated, we are like a buffet, okay? Now at a buffet, you have a long line of food there, and you each and every person picks what they like. 
all right? They pick their meal. Someone will pick a fish meal. Another one will pick a salad. Someone will pick a steak meal. Someone will pick a dessert. Someone will pick a drink. Someone will pick a, cu a cup of coffee, all right? Everyone is getting a meal that they're going to be satisfied with, but they're all picking their own choices. That's the same way trading should be. We provide you with this buffet of different variables in which to trade that will make you a consistent trader. But you're not required to all take the same dish. We want you and encourage you to pick what you feel comfortable with. That's what makes you a consistent trader, okay? Now, as we close up, remember, take advantage of this great offer. I realize $44.95 may be a lot for some traders, but they are willing to set up a, uh, a, a discount for you with a payment plan. So I would contact Pro Trader Strategies. They can develop a payment plan with you and you can be up and running and attending Saturday's class and get a lot more information. That's a private class for only members of the PTSXT uh, course, okay? So take advantage of this. Take your trading to the next level. This is, uh, I'm really excited about this tool because I actually used it today. I was trading the E-minis and I made a nice profit to the downside. Just using this tool and getting a, uh, a nice sell signal in the early uh, morning. So, it, you know, this is something that can be applied to any market, any time frame, and any direction, okay? Now, as we close and take one last look at our disclaimer here, I just want to say thank you so much. If you're interested at all in taking your trading to the next level, please just give Pro Trader Strategies a call. They'd be happy to work with you. And most especially, I look forward to seeing you all in my class this Saturday and members of the PTS XT course. Thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. Hope to see you this Saturday. Bye-bye.